Hey Aquarius, I hope you're doing well. This is Serendipity Tarot coming to you with your weekly general love reading. So this is for the sign of Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're going to find out what is going on between you and your person, whoever you're dealing with at this current time, okay? This is a timeless general love reading, so it can take place out over the next several weeks, okay? So we're looking at June, but certainly it could have occurred in a recent past, okay? So... So know that because time is fluid and this is a general love reading so it will not resonate for every single Aquarius out there okay so please do check your other signs okay so Aquarius you and your partner what is going on with Aquarius and their partner I am doing private personalized love readings okay they will be video recorded sent to your email if you're interested let me know contact me the email is in the description box I'm going to use the Spellcasters Tarot for the main spread, and I have one of my newer decks called the Tarot Illuminati to clarify, okay? If you're interested in purchasing any of these decks, I have the Amazon link in the description box as well, okay? So let's get right into it. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What is going on? Let me give this one more good shuffle for you guys. Let me know if this resonates. Like, share, comment, subscribe, and please don't forget to hit that notification but button. <laughs> Thank you guys for your love and support. Okay, Aquarius, let's get right into it. So, the recent past, what is going on between you and your person, Aquarius? We have the Page of Swords. You guys could just not really be talking, not really communicating the best, okay? Someone could even be blocked. You guys could be trying to figure out what the other person is doing, that kind of energy, okay? The current mutual energy between you guys, ooh, Ten of Cups. So there's a lot of love. There's a lot of love, um, emotional fulfillment, happiness. You guys make each other happy. Even if you guys, well, are not communicating, okay? Because you guys could be getting out of this uh, non-communicating blocked type of period, okay? But you guys have a lot of love for each other. And again, even if you're not expressing at this current time, you guys share a deep emotional bond. Like this is definitely like you see this person as your person, um, having a happy home, happy life, happy relationship relationship with okay the past the past is the page of swords in reverse so this can be gemini libra aquarius energy or again it just you guys just not communicating on the best terms okay what is the challenge to this ten of cups the five of wands okay in reverse so releasing some kind of conflict some kind of drama so you guys want this happiness together but right now you guys could be very much in conflict this also could be external conflict or drama to you okay um this could be you guys fighting and bickering amongst each other, or it could be internal as well. So it could be something that you guys are dealing with um, that you guys are not speaking about, okay? Or that the other person just doesn't know about, all right? What's going on? What's in your mind, Aquarius? We have the justice. So you could be wanting something to be more fair. You could be feeling like this person did an injustice towards you, and now you want things to be more balanced, more equal here, okay? This could be a Libra you're dealing with, but you may just want something to now go your way in your favor, okay? Or in a favor of this connection, in favor of love, true love, okay? Now, what's in the foundation? The reason for the reading is the chariot in reverse. So there's just a lack of forward movement right now. You guys are at a standstill, but you guys want to come together and have this happy life, you know, together and have, some, have a union. But again, you guys have to overcome something here that is conflicting, that is keeping you guys from being together. And I really feel like it's because of a lack of communication, okay? So coming into the moment, we have the Nine of Cups. So it's all about your fulfillment, okay? This is definitely about um, your Nine of Cups, trying to get that Ten Cup, right? So yeah, you may be coming into a period where you guys are just... Um, Almost at that ten of cups, right? Like you guys may be um, having some kind of union, kind of coming together, or just be feeling like you're in a good place, okay? Emotionally, spiritually, that kind of thing, okay? So how do you view yourself, Aquarius? Oh, the six of cups. So you view yourself as maybe going to the past or having a lot of nostalgia about this past person. This could be a soulmate person or um, an ex, okay, or someone that you've dealt with just in the recent past. You certainly could be reflecting on your partner or thinking about the good times you guys have shared, all the happy memories, good times you guys, uh, you know, did with each other, dating, all that good stuff, okay? This person makes you happy, so that makes sense. You're thinking you're spending a lot of time fantasizing about them, dreaming about them, okay? All your thoughts are surrounding this relationship or what you guys had in the past. It was very, very sweet. 
Okay, so that's your energy. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. What's your partner bring? What's their energy? What's going on? Ooh, the moon. The moon in reverse. Pisces energy. We also have Cancer. So this talks about an end of fears and anxiety. So maybe a person was suffering from um, some kind of anxiety about this relationship, about maybe having this Ten of Cups that caused some kind of internal conflict here with the Five of Wands, okay? And I feel like maybe they were, maybe they cut you off, guys. With the Page of Swords, they may have just not been talking to you, not communicating, okay? And may have just been spying on you, trying to like find out what's going on in your social media, but again, not really communicating to you directly. And you could have felt that that was unfair or very injustice towards you because things just came back came to a screeching halt things just stopped moving forward like out of nowhere and you were just like well what happened right and you as a result you were just looking back on the past all the good times but your partner has some kind of fears and anxieties that are being released or your partner could be coming to you with some kind of message or some kind of secret Okay, or, or something that they want to reveal, this also could be repressed emotions. If your partner may have been holding back from you, this love that they had for you, they are now wanting to come clean. They now want to be more open because they want to come to some kind of emotional fulfillment. They want to be in this happy place with you, okay, with the Ten of Cups. They're, trying to, they're at the Nine, but you guys are trying to get that Tenth Cup, you know? So your person definitely could be coming to you with some kind of secret or some kind of emotions that they have been repressing, Okay. What's in your emotions and feelings, Aquarius? We have the two of pentacles in reverse. So you can be trying to find balance in your life. If this person comes to you with some kind of feelings and emotions, I feel like this can also take you off balance and you're going to have to find your stability back, okay? Because whatever it is, it's going to provide some kind of clarity, okay? With the moon in reverse, this is something coming out to the open, something that is being exposed, or again, just a releasing of fears, anxieties that someone may have. But with the two of pentacles in reverse, this may have been may have caused you some juggling or kind of confusion in the past, but I feel like you're going to try to find your balance in all this, okay? Let's get an outcome card, Aquarius and their partner, two of wands, okay? So there's definitely forward movement, planning for the future, okay? There's a lot of passion between you guys, um, certainly here with the wand energy. This is about maybe even coming together, moving forward, planning for the future, okay? So I do see forward movement. If things came to an, an, a halt or you guys just, you know, this person blocked you, didn't even, like, communicate to you, didn't tell you what was going on. I do feel like they have a lot of love for you, but there's something here they need to reveal and get off their chest, okay? And I think it's going to provide some balance or some kind of justice to the situation and allow you guys to move forward here with the two wands. So, beautiful spread, Aquarius. I'm loving it. Wow, at the bottom of the deck, guys, with the Ace of Cups, we have a new beginning. We have... Um, a beginning of love, okay? This is a lot of love you guys share. We have a big old juicy cup. Um, so yeah, you guys can have a lot of love for each other. You guys may not be expressing, but you guys make each other happy, okay? A lot of emotions, a lot of fulfillment, okay? So this is about a new beginning, okay, in this love situation. This is about out with the old, in with the new, okay? So I'm going to start clarifying this for you guys. Aquarius and their partner, we're going to find out what is what this all is about. This is a beautiful reading. So yeah, a lot of love between you guys. A lot of holding back, though. So right now, again, you guys aren't talking. Things are at a standstill with the chariot in reverse. A lack of forward movement. You could be thinking about, you know, wanting to balance you wanting things to be fair things to maybe go your way if this person blocked you would just stop communicating out of nowhere i do feel that it's because there's something here they had to to reveal there's something here that was not sitting well with them or they need some kind of clarity on okay but with the moon reverse coming is there as their energy i feel like there's something that's going to be released that's going to allow you guys to move forward okay and it may kind of take you off of your you know off balance a little bit, but I think you're going to get back on track so you guys can move forward here with the two of wands, okay? So let's get to clarity. Uh, let's get to clarify this ace of cups. What is this ace of cups about? Having a beginning of emotional fulfillment, being vulnerable with each other, having a lot of love and expressing it, being transparent, being patient, all that good stuff. Very beautiful energy. Five of Pentacles in reverse, and we have the Two of Pentacles in reverse. So yeah, I feel like someone wants to get out of the cold. If if someone is, if you're dealing with someone who's blocked you or just went silent, went MIA, they want to get out of the cold, guys. They want to come back home. They want to have a beginning of love here. Okay, so yeah, someone is definitely trying to get out of the the dungeon with you or whatever you want to call it. Okay, they they're feeling a lack a lack of abundance. Um. 
lack of love, lack of attention from you, and they want this beginning. They want this beginning of love. Two of Pentacles in reverse. So yeah, I do feel like that someone could have been juggling, or someone could be unsure, not really sure which way to go here. But they're gonna figure things out. The Two of Pentacles in reverse. Things things are now gonna become more clear, more balanced. Okay, to make some kind of forward movement. So the Ten of Cups right there in the middle of the spread. This is the current energy for you guys, okay? So that's very beautiful. Ten of Cups is about emotional satisfaction, fulfillment, happy home, happy life, happy relationship, all that jazz, okay? To clarify, we got the Empress. So you could be dealing with someone who is the Emperor, Aries energy, um, or someone who is the, you know, your child's father here, masculine figure. Or you could just be dealing with someone who is very much wants to be in control, okay? Wants to step up to the plate, make a decision so you guys can have this Ten of Cups, okay? So you definitely have someone who's very dominating or wants to be a leader, wants to really take charge of the situation, okay? The Emperor makes very good decisions here. And we have the Ten of Swords in reverse. So Ten of Swords in reverse is definitely about resisting an ending here or so uh, trying to recover from something that was very, very uh, deep, very heavy, um, Ten of Swords is about devastation, hitting rock bottom. Uh, it's a completion, okay? The Ten of Swords is like, you know, if you feel Ten of Swords in your back, you can only imagine how you feel, okay? So if you hit rock bottom, you're completely devastated um, at the very end. But there's a recovery here. The Ten of Swords in reverse is, is saying that you're getting back up, okay? You're recovering from this, whatever ending this was, okay? And the challenge is to let go of some kind of conflict or drama that you guys have. Like, can you release that so you guys can work towards this Ten of Cups with each other, okay? So what is this Five of Wands about? What is this drama about? Nine of Cups, so about someone maybe, um, this could be a little smug, so maybe someone decided they wanted to... Um, you know, go out and go after their own fulfillment here, okay? A little selfish energy, a little bit smug. So someone may have thought that they something else can make them happy. What is this Nine of Cups about? It's causing some kind of conflict or drama. Or it could be, again, internal. Why is this Nine of Cups here? Let's get some more clarity for my Aquarius. Why is the Nine of Cups here, please? So we have the Nine of Pentacles and the Page of Wands. Okay, so this is what I'm getting, guys. So this conflict is a challenge to let go of some conflict or um, drama between you guys. Because someone may have wanted to be single. Someone may have been acting single here. Okay, with the Nine of Pentacles. Maybe out there or just feeling like they just wanted to be alone, be independent. Okay, but you know, Nine of Pentacles is my singles card, guys. And then paired with the Page of Wands. You could have been dealing with someone who wanted to just be out there, being wanted to be a little flirtatious, um, having a lot of passion, not really knowing what they want. Pages are like just sending messages and wands is about like passion. So they could have been out there kind of like fooling around a little bit, um, not really sure what they wanted. And they wanted and they were acting single. So the challenge is to let go of this, the drama or whatever um came with that energy, okay? Because I'm certainly I could feel that you know you wouldn't have been so happy if this person was with you one moment and then all of a sudden they want to just be single or they act as single and it you know kind of like a player energy type thing and you know that caused some kind of conflict and drama between you guys right so you guys may have went separate ways split up not um not been communicating for some time queen of pentacles I don't know who that is, um, Aquarius, it's not your energy, but the Page of Swords here and the Queen of Pentacles, they certainly could be thinking that you have um, decided to be with someone else, that you moved on, or they could have been dealing with a Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy, someone who could also be, um, you know, they could have had a, a previous marriage here, or they could have been um, involved with, or, you know, went, went back involved with like their child's mother, Queen of Pentacles, typically married, committed. Let me get some more clarity on the Queen of Pentacles. Regardless, there's a lack of communication between you guys, okay? The Page of Swords reverse is definitely like withholding communication. Six of Pentacles in reverse and High Priestess. So this is kind of secret or something that was maybe kept from you here with the High Priestess energy, Pisces energy, or just someone, you know, you may be dealing with someone who is not only holding secrets but not really giving to you equally. The Six of Pentacles in reverse, not reciprocating, kind of breadcrumbing you. And it could because they were involved possibly with the Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy, or someone that they had a long-standing relationship with in the past, okay? There's also um, the High Priestess energy saying there was some kind of secret. There's something that they had not been telling you about this possibly Queen of Pentacles um, or not been telling you about who they've been involved with or who they've been giving their time, energy, and effort into, okay? 
So the justice, that's probably why you're demanding justice here. You're demanding some kind of truth. You're demanding things to be balanced, equal, okay? If this person did something you felt was unjust, you now want your justice, right? You could be dealing with the Libra. What is this justice card about? The Ace of Swords in reverse. So yeah, you felt like this person was lying to you, deceiving you, not being not being completely honest and truthful, okay? They also could have just been withholding communication from you, all right? This certainly could be your energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy, but I feel like this person was just lying or just not telling you the entire truth. And that's why you wanted things to be fair. You wanted your justice, okay? We also have... Ooh, Yep, the Eight of Swords in reverse. You may have felt trapped, tied up because this person was keeping something from you, okay? So if you're not getting the entire truth, yeah, you're going to feel like you're not seeing something, you know? And this card, her, her eyes are, she's blindfolded, she's trapped, her arms are tied. So you may have felt like you were trapped, like things were being kept from you here. You were stuck, okay? Definitely a lot of mental conflict as well. And the foundation is the chariot in reverse. So yeah, things came to a screeching halt. There's a lack of forward movement. Things were just stuck here in this connection. You guys were not able to move things forward or progress. I do feel like there was a, even a breakup here, possibly. Or you guys just stopped communicating, okay, out of nowhere. Why is the chariot in reverse? What do we have? Uh, the five of wands. So yeah, and it caused a lot of conflict and drama between you guys too. Be between you guys. Um, so yeah, five of wands, conflict, drama, internal struggles, external struggles, whatever. It could be also other people mingling in this relationship that caused some kind of drama, okay? Coming into the moment, we have the nine of cups. Nine of cups, this is Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. This is all about your fulfillment, your happiness. Why is the nine of cups here? Why is the nine of cups here, please? We have the five of swords in reverse, okay? So I do feel like you guys are going to release some kind of conflict or deception or manipulation, whatever this person caused. You guys are going to be able to resolve. I think you guys are coming together and and just, you guys are deciding to come together and release some kind of conflict or whatever, Um, like accept it as a defeat. Whatever you guys are struggling with, okay, you guys are going to be able to come together, release that, maybe even make up and work towards the nine of cups, which is like, you know, fulfillment. You guys are just going to accept it for what it is and move on. Let me get another card for the Five of Swords. But I feel like, you know, you guys want to make amends here with the Five of Swords in reverse. You guys do want to get over whatever happened in the past. Queen of Cups in reverse. So you could be very withholding, you know, very um closed or blocked to this person, withholding your love. Or you could be dealing with a Cancer Pisces Scorpio who is um a little angry, guys. A little angry, a little pissed off. Um, Six of Cups is your energy. This is how you view yourself. Very nostalgia, looking back on the past, missing your past lover, your ex, okay? Wishing that they would come back. Or just have, spending a lot of time thinking about it. Temperance. Yeah, so you may feel a little bit out of balance without them in your life. You may feel like you really miss them. But yeah, I feel like you just feel like a lot. Like your whole life has been turned upside down if they, you know, decided to... um you know, break away from this connection. I feel like there's something that needs healing regarding this um, this person here too. Six of Cups. Whoever you're dealing with, if it's a soulmate or karmic, whoever, there's something kind of healing that needs to take place. There's something here that's still unbalanced, okay? And I think it has to do with some kind of secret that's coming out because your partner's energy, we have the moon. So the moon definitely talks about, again, fears, anxieties, but also releasing it since the moon is in reverse, okay? But it also could be some kind of secret or deception or repressed energy that was kept from you. We have the sun in reverse, so you can be dealing with the Leo. It also could be some kind of... um like a lack of enlightenment or clarity on the situation. Again, some kind of secret or something I've been keeping from you. And I think that may have been blocking the connection or may have been keeping things from moving forward here with the chariot in reverse. Okay, so what is this? What is the sun in reverse about? You also have children with this particular person. Or you could just feel very sad, unhappy about the secret that's coming out. Okay, it, it really is... Uh, a little shocking and it really made you unhappy and I, I think that's why you have the two of pentacles in reverse that's why you're feeling like a little out of balance and trying to find your firm footing again okay we have the seven of pentacles so there's a lot of reflecting i feel like for your person on you know the time energy and effort that they put into this connection and they may be now wanting to come clean or reveal to you some kind of secret because they feel like like wow i dealt with this person or i i put in all this work and then I got nothing, okay? If they decided to walk away from this connection, they're like, wow, I put seven months, seven years, whatever, and, you know, it just ended up into a big, fat, 
nothing. And it's like, you know, they're looking back. They're doing a lot of reflecting. Just like you, you're in the Six of Cups. They have the Seven of Pentacles. A lot of reflecting on the time, the past memories, what you guys have done with each other, how you guys have built, whatever, okay? You, you know, your partner's definitely reflecting as well. So you have the Two of Pentacles in verse, so you're definitely trying to find balance, possibly after this secret or whatever has been revealed or some kind of fears and anxieties that your person may have had that they're now coming clean about. There's something here that, that may have caused you to be a little bit out of balance, out of whack, and you're now trying to, um, yeah, find your balance and stability again. So why is the Two of Pentacles in verse? Two of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. What do we have for Aquarius? Two of Pentacles. The judgment in reverse. You may feel like, you know, your person made a bad judgment call or bad decision regarding this connection in the past. Okay, and it really sabotaged things. It even threw you off balance. But yeah, they, they made a final say about this and that you think that they made the wrong decision. Okay, about not putting work into it. It's three pentacles, about not coming together, collaborating, working together as a partner. Okay, workmanship. But in the outcome, we have the two of wands. So there's some kind of forward movement, planning, okay, moving forward together. You know, the two of wands is about passion, desire. Why is the two of wands here for Aquarius and their partner? Why is the two of wands here? So if you guys went separate ways, I feel like you guys are maybe coming together because you guys are both thinking about each other. Your person is thinking seven of pentacles. I put all this time and effort and I'm unhappy where I am. And maybe I should rethink this. You have the six of cups. I think very nostalgia, thinking about the memories and times you guys have spent with each other, dating and flirting and kissing and having a good time and laughing. And so what is this two of wands about? There's two of wands here in the outcome, moving forward, taking charge. What is this? What is this about spirit? Please clarify. Okay, what do we have? The hangman in reverse. Beautiful. So I feel like right now, if you guys have been stuck, if things have been stuck in this connection, we definitely have the charity in reverse. Okay, lack of forward movement. You guys are going to begin, begin to get unstuck. There's going to be some kind of movement. I feel like your partner could have been really um, quiet and really taking a step back, trying to get a whole new perspective on this. It's also like a spiritual enlightenment card, kind of going within to trying to find another, um, trying to find answers, trying to find another perspective on a way of looking at this. But I feel like you guys are going to be able to get out of the energy or your partner is going to be able to get out of the energy so they can make a decision on how to move forward here with the two of wands and we have the five of cups in reverse so yeah your partner's regretful they feel bad for the decision they made regarding the situation they're really disappointed um yeah a lot of regrets and a lot of guilt and remorse here with the five of cups so your person is now getting unstuck and they want to move forward here with the two of wands okay um let me get one more card so yeah the two of wands is definitely saying there's some kind of forward moving or planning so you guys may be planning on how to move forward and now getting unstuck this you know things have been again stagnant and stuck you know partner you know again feels very regretful very uh feeling like at fault for something here one more card please one more card for the five of cups for Aquarius and their partner before i Close this up. Eight of Pentacles in the world, guys. So, yeah, I feel like there's some kind of work that's going to be put in, okay? Some kind of effort on your partner's part. So, if they've been stuck, again, they're feeling regretful. They're feeling really guilty. They want to turn things around. The world is all about positive change, changing, um, turning of, um, you know, turning and, and change. And so, I feel like there could be an, a completion of a cycle here with the Ten of Swords. We have the Ten of Cups, a lot of Tens. Um, but the world is definitely, there's something here that is um, being divinely orchestrated. The universe also could be very much in control of this connection. But your partner wants to now maybe put some effort and time into this, making something grow. They look at this as an investment. They want to work on this, okay? So that's what I have for you, Aquarius. Um, wow, beautiful reading. Let me know if this resonates with you guys. Like, share comment and subscribe thank you all for your love and support and i'll be back next week for another reading bye bye